Hello, Yatre. So here is the Azure DevOps MCP. And now if you are from cloud and DevOps background, this video is for you. So here might be you have a one question. Is it really AI can replace your DevOps job? Not really. Okay. So AI can actually help out to you to improve your productivity and execute more faster. So let me know also your point of view in the comment box what you are think about AI. How it gonna be replace your job, especially I'm talking about Azure DevOps. Okay, so it's not directly replacing your job, it's helping out to you, just like how Azure DevOps MCP can help out to you to improve your productivity. Okay, so let's say I'm giving you one example. So here I just giving one prompt. Get a list of area of project, Azure DevOps organization projects, and it's going to calling one MCP tool and it's listing out to me all the projects which I have in my organization. Okay, so you can see if this is the ID, this is the name of the project, description, and everything. That what I got the information. Okay, I have a single command. So that's how Azure DevOps MCP can help out to you. So let me go into the browser. And this is my Azure DevOps organization. This is the name and this is the project name. Fine. That's what I got the information from MCP server. So let's say we have hundreds of Azure DevOps projects, right? And organization. That's how I got the information by one single command. Right now I have one only single organization and one single project. That's how you got the information, the very less. Okay. And this is the old account. So I just giving you the demo purpose. So let's say secondly what I'm gonna be cover it out. So you can see this is my all other MCP tools and configuration which I had done. So you can check it out more on the Anadain, Superbase, Figuma and GitHub MCP servers. So get to know more about how EA can help out to you to execute more faster. Okay, no matter if you are from cloud or DevOps background, you can still need to understand how actually MCP can work. Okay, that to what my motive is. So let's say go into the VS Code or Kiro or Cursor or Cloud, whatever you are using. I will give you the all the links in this uh, and uh, you know documentation in the description. You can check it out. So let's say you are using the Kiro or any other ID. Then what you need to do? Okay, you need to just create one MCP.json file. The first step, right? That you need to understand how it can configure. So you can see I just giving one single prompt. Oh sorry single command npx hyphen y and iterate azure devops slash mcb right and giving the name of the organization and that's it okay all set no need to do anything as of now after that all you are able to start your mcb server but before that you just need to install azure cli and set up your microsoft azure account with your system okay that's how it easy so let me quickly go through it once how to set up Azure CLI. So let's me let me let me you know open in the preview mode. Okay, let me close this down. Let's up now. Let's go. And here you can see the first step. Install the Azure CLI. And for this step, it's a very simple, right? And secondly, what you can do, you need to just authenticate your Azure account with your device so type as a login hyphen iphone this device code and login with your account after that all you need to install azure devops extension right via a single command run this and enter your organization name in my case i have your thoughts so on so you can see this is my organization name so firstly how you are going to find out your organization name right so go to your Azure, okay. And if you don't have any subscription, you can check it out my last couple of videos where I explain how to get Azure subscription. Fine. After that all, just type DevOps in the search bar and click on the Azure DevOps organization. Okay. And just click on the my Azure DevOps organization again. And that's how you will be redirecting into the Azure DevOps portal where you can create an organization and create a different different projects fine so after that all go to your id and try to run all the commands and configure it okay so let's say you are using that kiro id itself so create a dot hero folder try to create another folder settings and within this folder 
you need to create mcp.json okay clear now how actually a file can help out so let's say you know if you want to more precise output you need to give one simple instruction to the ai right so if you are using the vs code then it might be help out to you so here you can see i just giving one single instruction that what you need to do and what not right so how you can create this one within this got data folder right so that's clear so that's how you can you know ready to go to go on the setup so now we had done everything no need to do anything as of now go to the chat and here you can type okay so let me type again the same you know prompt and getting the same output or not let's say uh, kiss it out here and you can see this is working now and get a list of idea project you can see this is the calling the mcp right and this is the thinking and it will be going with the output and that's it the association the pipeline is going to cover it out your output so yeah it's coming now so let's say you are using the vs code okay that what you can do okay you can create a mcb.json file okay within itself of the dot vs code folder okay and this is the file so how you can start mcp server into the vs code why i just click on this running button okay let me stop this now after I paste this file you are able to see this option just click on the start and your mcp is running now and just giving the prompt and how you can start in the key row id what you can do to start mcp servers okay uh you need to just go to your terminal and type npx hyphen y okay the same command we say enter into the mcp.json file that's how you can start mcp server within your curse uh key row id let's say you are using the cursor okay then you go into cursor setting go to mcp and integration and click on the add custom mcp okay then you need to just paste out your mcp.json file within a dot cursor folder okay so that's how you can start and try it out within your all prompts so let's say this is the github account and you can see this is all the mcp tools among around 70s and yeah you can just quickly go through it one by one and understand it all okay how it can help out to you and let me know what was your experience so see you soon in the next video subscribe to the yati cloud okay till now bye bye and take care